So this poor <laughs> married woman who wants to have a baby, has kids already, her husband wants to have a baby, they both want to have a baby, she's pregnant, she's going to have a baby, the doctors tell her, no, you're, you're risking yourself, you're risking, this baby's not going to come out, he's going to be probably dead when he arrives, or if not dead, worse than dead. And so, <laughs> she takes it to court in Texas because abortion is illegal and they, the judge says, okay, you can have your abortion. This way she can try again to have a baby, which is what she wants. She wants this baby more than anything in the world. And then they say, no, she can't have the abortion and the Supreme Court comes in. And now, meanwhile, time's ticking. This woman's health is at risk. She wants the baby, but not this baby because it's not going to come out. It's not going to work. The doctors told her that. And yet, because of the stupid laws in our country and the mess we're in, she can't get the abortion because abortion is such a bad word in our country. It's her. She's entitled to do what's best for her health is the way it should be. And she's never going to be able to have kids again if she doesn't get the abortion is what the doctors are telling her. This baby is not going to come out. It's going to be dead when it arrives or worse. And yet it's in the fate of the Supreme Court of Texas now. <laughs> How crazy is that? So anyway, this is my attempt at protesting it. Not that I can say anything. And I haven't played it before, so I apologize for that. I'm just fiddling. Got a few minutes because my son has a concert I gotta go to in a second, so I gotta leave in about 20 minutes. Otherwise, I'd spend longer to figure something out. But in the heart of Texas, under the neon. Sky, a tale unfolds where choices amplify. Kate Cox in the courtroom, her fate at stake. A judge's ruling, a decision to make. Ken Paxton with a plea to the highest court. A legal battle where our emotions distort. Located oh, in the shadows of a legal fight. A woman's right in the Texas night. Supreme Court echoes a ruling on hold. Consequences they unfold. Stories untold in the Texas night. Right in the midnight air, Paxton's words, hospitals beware, As the gavel falls, the Supreme Court speaks, temporarily halting the silent peaks, the letter sent, thread in the midnight air, Paxton telling all those hospitals beware, and the gavel falls, and the Supreme Court says, She just wanted a baby. Cox's lawyer in a plea for swift grace. Justice delayed in this perilous race, located in the shadows of a legal fight. It's a woman's right in the Texas night.
Supreme Court echoes a ruling on hold. Consequences they do unfold. Stories left untold. Veronica's to bar with words so strong. Damnation parades gone wrong. A woman's plea echoes in the night. Courthouse drama, where justice is rare. The central question lingers in the room. Does a lethal anomaly spell Pete's doom? A life at the crossroads, consequences dry. Echoes of justice. Flames burn high. This poor woman could die. You'll never be able to have kids again. She's trying to do a tray with her husband. But we all got a medal in it. Because we all think we know what's right. The central question lingers in the room. Does a lethal anomaly spell Kate's doom? Life at the crossroads, consequences drier. Echoes of justice and the flames burn high. Zawaski versus Texas is another tale. Sitting in the queue, a dance of arguments, legal render, <laughs> legal rendezvous. Locate in the shadows of the legal fight It's a woman's right But not in the Texas night Supreme Court echoes a ruling on hold Consequences they do unfold Corridors of power where decisions are spun A woman's journey under the Texas sun As the world watches in a legal gaze Kate Cox's song The echo of Just a legal phase God, I hope the Supreme Court decides what's in her best interest, which in this case is getting an abortion. Otherwise, she will never be able to have kids again, and she could end up dying even, is what it sounds like. So it's just crazy that the Supreme Court needs to intervene, and the courts are involved, and everything else. It's just utterly crazy and ridiculous.